Hello everyone and welcome to another JavaScript Mastery video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your GitHub profile stand out from the crowd. There are many ways in which you can show your profile or work to the world, especially if you're a programmer. Modern ways include hosting your own website, displaying your complete portfolio. This has brought freedom to utilize all the unique ideas and without any restrictions to the number of pages, style, or the font in the resume. People now develop creative, interactive online resumes, which creates a good impact on potential employers. Recently, GitHub added the ability to add a readme file on your profile above the pinned repositories, and it can take as much space above the fold of the web page as you'd like. A profile level readme feels like a natural evolution of the project level convention most of the GitHub users are already familiar with. This feature allows you to show more data on the profile bio and the fact that it supports markdown means that you have infinite possibilities. You can play around with emojis, images, GIFs, and pretty much anything. Now, the next logical question would be, well, how can you create your own profile readme? Without any further ado, let's do that right now. Once you're logged in on your GitHub, you can navigate to the top right of your screen. Click this plus icon and then click new repository. You have to create a new repository with the same name, including the letter casing as your GitHub username. For me, it says that I cannot create a new one because I already have one and that's completely okay. But for you, it's gonna say something like this. You found a secret. This is a special repository that you can use to add a readme MD to your GitHub profile. Make sure it's set to public and initialize it with a readme to get started. So after you do that, make sure to scroll down, click add a readme and then click create repository. After that, you'll be navigated to a page that looks like this, just a typical GitHub repository. Now you can edit that readme file which was created for you. Let's see how it looks in action. For you, something is already going to be typed in here, but let's type hello world. If we now save this, we should be able to see it above our profile. As you can see, it's here. But that's not all that cool. How are you going to create better looking and more interactive profile readmes? For you, I prepared a page where you can find hundreds and hundreds of different profile readme templates. Let's open a few. For example, there are the code styled ones and let's open the first five ones just so we can see how they look. As you can see, this one looks great. In here, you can type your name, you can say where you're currently working at, you can add all your social media and then we have a little block of code there which has some additional information. Let's keep moving forwards and see a few more. This is just two blocks of code. In here, a lot of things are happening again. You can see having the ability to add markdown adds us so much more functionality. We can specify when we are doing our commits and what did we spend time on during this week. We have some more and some more again. The ones that I like the most are going to be the short and sweet ones. You don't want to overcomplicate your profile readme. So let's open five from the short and sweet directory. As you can see, we have a few headings, a few bullet points, and then GitHub stats, and finally links to all social media. Let's say that I like this one. I'm going to close all the rest. And now how do we actually add it? Well, you go to raw here, then you copy all of that. And finally, you can go to your profile and then click this little icon right here. After you do that, you can paste everything and now you can change all the things that you want. Let's just change the name. To show your GitHub stats, the only thing you have to do is change the username here. So I'm gonna do that. And then we have connect with me and links to all social medias. So if we now click commit changes at the bottom of the page, let's see how it looks like. As you can see, that's great. We can see my stats. You can see the links to social medias, the headings, the bullet points. And the best thing is that it actually shows on your bio, on your profile, above your pinned repositories. That's amazing. In here, you can provide information on which stack are you working on, or maybe even specify that you're looking for a job. That's it. Now you know how to add your profile readme. But that's not it on having your GitHub profile stand out. You can see how I have this pinned repositories here. I also try to contribute as much as I can. 
and I made sure that all my projects have nicely written readmes with live links, descriptions, images, live sites, and all the important details. So allow me to show you how you can do the same things on the pages of your projects. First of all, let's talk about the readme. If you click this little pen icon right here, it's going to show us the markdown. To use a heading in markdown, you can use a hash symbol. To create a smaller heading, you can use two or three hashes. In here, I'm also using a link. Everything that's inside of the square brackets is going to be the thing that's going to be written inside of a link. And this inside of the parentheses is going to be the actual link where you're going to be taken once you click on this text. In this case, it's a link pointing to the site I deployed on Netlify. You can see that right there. No one has to actually run the code, install the dependencies, they can just click a link and they are there. Moving forward, this is the actual image. I just took a screenshot of the software and then just uploaded it to the internet. And then you can use the link. If you just Google online image upload, you should find a lot of services that allow you to simply host your images online. And then they give you a link and you can use that link right there. And finally, this is the introduction with all the descriptions. And what's nice to have is the setup. So in here, I tell the users how they can run and install the dependencies if they want to run this project locally. Furthermore, in here, this is the about part, a really important part as well. GitHub added a lot of functionalities to this part recently. In here for this project, I simply said, this is a code repository for the corresponding YouTube video. In this tutorial, we're going to build and deploy a real-time chat application, cover topics, React, Node, Express, and Socket.io. You can also add tags here. To edit it, you can click this little icon and that leads you to this. In here, you can add that, website, topics, and you can even specify what do you want to include in here. That's it. With just a little bit of work, you can make your pages stand out. Here's a little update. More than 10 months have passed since I started creating the complete path to JavaScript mastery. This is a long course that covers absolutely everything you need to know about JavaScript. Starting with easy things such as variables, logic and control flow, functions, tricky concepts, even some projects, and then moving on to more complex topics such as arrays in detail, objects in detail, and to more complex topics such as value versus reference, prototypes, asynchronous JavaScript, and so on. If you're interested in learning JavaScript in depth more than you learned it in any course you've taken so far, then you might be interested in this. The course is not yet out, but you can sign up for the mailing list. The link is going to be down in the description. You can enter your email just to be sure you can know when the course is released. You're also going to get a big discount just for being on the mailing list when the course is released. If you'd like me to make this video into a series where I'm going to help you to optimize your GitHub profile or just in general, give you some tips on getting hired, just let me know and I'm going to turn this into a series. For that, leave a like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next one.